Hello dear friends, are you shocked with those uh, trains? Have you uh, actually didn't get why we have shown the pictures of those local trains or EMU or electric trains? Is there anything special that we are going to mend with it? Yes dear friends, you are pretty right. We have a particular goal behind sewing those trains and what is this let's find out adverbs in a train yes dear friends there in a local train or in a electric motor coach you'd find out adverbs so today we are going to learn adverbs in a train so let's begin so dear friends here's our adverb in a train but before discussing of adverbs let's discuss this emu or the train that runs on an electric motor so if you consider this train this is fondly called local train because most of the time we travel on these trains and here you'd find the train has a connection with electricity yes dear friends there on the top of the vehicle you would find a hand and that hand touches the electric wire from where the electric is supplied to the motor of the train and it makes the train run this is the simple technology that works in these trains but that's not what we are going to learn yes dear friends i'm not a tech savvy engineer rather i am a doctor of language so i would like to teach you technology of language that gets associated with these trains if you follow this you would find there in these trains three different such hands got it this is number one number two and number three there you would find three of them and what are the positions that's very much important because it's the position that you'd have to focus so what's the position it comes at the starting of the train then comes in the middle of the train and then comes at the tail end of the train so three positions you would get for these motor coaches in emu or electric trains first in the starting second in the middle and third in the tail end of the train yes dear friends these are the three different positions of what of adverbs that you find in a sentence as well so in a sentence you would find adverbs in these three positions how yes would we'll learn it now so we have found out that an adverb can also be uh, actually divided into three different kinds by what by watching the position they acquire in a sentence an adverb can be placed at the starting of a sentence in the middle of a sentence and at the tail end of a sentence so the same thing just you'd have to remember the position of the motor coaches in an electric train and it would help you to remember the position of an adverb that you'd have to place so if i ask you where's the motor coach where's the motor coach you'd say it's at the starting of the train so where will you find it out you'll search for it at the starting then you'll search for it in the middle and also you'll search for it at the tail end so where lies the adverbs in a sentence to find out the adverbs you'd also have to search for them at the starting of the sentence in the middle of the sentence and at the tail end of the sentence so these are the three positions that an adverb acquired in a sentence as well so if you remember this you are going to find it very easy to find out adverbs in a sentence and that's the positions where you'd also place an adverb in a sentence yes dear friends to know the position and to find them out 
is not our goal. Our goal is more serious than this. We want to put the adverbs properly in the very much dedicated positions in a sentence. And this is the thing which you must remember to make it very easy. And I have another information for you. If you want to learn more about position of adverbs, you'd find them in a video that I have already created and the link is there coming on the i button. So from there you can check it. You'd find the different ways of using an adverb and the position of adverb in a sentence in very detail. But this one is for the beginner. This is the easiest way to remember the position of adverbs. Very soon we are returning with many such videos. So you have to do what? Yes, like this video, share this channel and also to subscribe this channel with the bell icon and all notifications so that we can grow together we can grow our language learning together so we are returning very soon until then bye bye